What could possibly connect the tragedy of rejecting Dr. Semmelweis's ideas with the story of silencing the soft Mozart system and the Heiner method? Doesn't this analogy seem far-fetched? The main problem Semmelweis was fighting against was the contamination of doctors and midwives' hands. Bacteria from their dirty hands would enter the bodies of new mothers, causing sepsis and often leading to death. The woman's immune system would struggle to fight off the infection, but it was often not strong enough to overcome it. Using antiseptic to clean their hands could have minimized the risk. But until this was implemented, only those with the strongest immunity would survive. Today, music education resembles this contaminated environment. Only those with an inherent, musical immunity manage to survive in it. The rest of the children, entering this infected system, develop fragmented perception and an imbalance between the left and right hemispheres of the brain. A musical note in its pure form is a vibration, a symbol in the musical system, and has a specific duration. This is the foundation of musical language that should be the starting point of education. As Bach once said, playing the musical instrument is very simple. All you need to do is hit the right key at the right time. Yet instead of that, children are flooded from the very beginning with unnecessary information. They study biographies of composers, memorize notes, and sing fragments of melodies without understanding how these are connected to musical notation. Their brains are literally infected with meaningless data, which disrupts neural connections. Just like an infection in the body, this leads to a weakening of the children's musical thinking. They lose interest in learning music and see it as something boring and confusing. The money we invest in education turns into wasted resources because the system destroys the ability of music to develop holistic thinking and bring intellectual benefits. My method, like an antiseptic, eliminates this problem. We start by building a healthy connection between the child and the note, its sound, its place in the system, and its duration. By removing all the unnecessary elements, we give the brain the ability to correctly connect the vibration of sound with its symbolic representation and rhythmic perception. This forms the foundation for full-fledged musical and intellectual development. Why teach children to play instruments that provide only a partial understanding of music? Why overload them with facts about composers if this does not help them perceive music as a complete structure? Starting music education with monophonic instruments and singing is like treating symptoms instead of addressing the root cause. We continue to infect children with secondary information, which prevents them from seeing music as a language and an art form. This leads to fragmented perception and hinders their development. Music is a tool for creating a healthy brain. My method is the antiseptic for the infected field of music education. It's time to stop infecting children with unnecessary data and start clearing their minds from the very beginning. What more is needed to immediately implement the system? The reason why this knowledge is being suppressed at so many levels will shock and disturb you. But more on that in the next episode.